split moment. There we go. He's getting a screen sharing actually inside our live trading room first. There we go. So all of our students should see a screen right now, at least initially. Um, he has his PowerPoint up right now. Entry rules to one of my most consistent pullback strategies. Actually, that's something I'm going to tune into right now. So I'm going to get Steven on the mic in just a few seconds here, folks. Just bear with us here for a moment. Are you able to hear me now? Okay, uh, Josh? Yeah, perfect, Stephen. There we go. You are good to go. Okay, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Sorry about the little delay there. We're kind of uh, running things here up at the last minute, but I appreciate it. And welcome to everyone. Uh, I'm going to talk to you about uh, the entry rules, actually give you a few of the entry rules to one of my most consistent pullback trading strategies. The great thing about this strategy is that you'll have these two rules. You can start using it as early as today if you'd like. Uh, the entry rules will tell you exactly where to enter onto any market in any time frame. Uh, let me share with you exactly how this works. As we look at this uh, older chart of Costco, it's going back to July. Most people looking at this would say, well, okay, I don't really have much of an idea, but that indicator I follow tells me that we were actually a little uh, overbought here and there's some major resistance. So I think if we bounce up to that level, I'm going to either exit my position if I'm still long or I'm going to maybe go short. So let's see what happens the next day here. It starts to bounce up and you say to yourself, well, okay, that's close enough. We're getting close to that resistance. I think I'll sell. This is what a lot of traders do based on indicators and things that really don't have a lot of consistency. Well, with today's entry rules, you'll know that you should not have sold there at all. In fact, on that very same bar, it was generating a buy setup. And off that same bar, you would have known to go long and potentially you could have captured 35 points in the days to follow. That's how powerful this method is that you'll learn today. And so that's what we're going to be talking about. The entry rules to one of my most consistent pullback strategies. So welcome once again, my name is Stephen Primo. And uh, as you can see here, everything you're gonna be seeing today is on our PTS Primo charting platform. This is the educational platform I developed that actually teaches you how to identify these pullbacks. Now, as Josh said, I've been trading for quite a while now, for 46 years, I started my career on the floor of the Pacific Stock Exchange. I was on the floor for a total of 16 years and nine of those years, I was a specialist. Now, specialist doesn't mean you're any more special than anyone else. If you ever Google those uh, pictures of those old uh, you know, pictures of the trading floor with guys screaming and yelling and making these weird hand signals and lots of paper on the floor, where the specialists were the ones behind those large wooden podiums that actually made markets in roughly about 50 or 60 stocks. So in the old days, if you actually wanted to buy or sell a stock before electronic trading, you would call your broker. Your broker, in turn, would call the floor broker who would walk up to the specialist who specialized in trading that particular stock and he'd make a market for it. So that's what I did. I made markets and I specialized in uh, stocks such as uh, US Air, Waste Management, IBM. I uh, traded as a specialist during the crash of 1987 and through the bull market that followed. So I've seen just about every market environment you can think of, straight up markets, straight down markets, sideways markets. And on top of that, I've traded just about every technique, strategy, or system you can think of. Most likely, even if someone says it's brand new, it's just been rebranded and been around before. So in my 46 years of trading, I know what works in terms of consistency, and I know what doesn't work. <clears throat> Excuse me. So that's why I teamed up with Pro Trader Strategies roughly about uh, 15 years ago, and we formed Specialist Trading with just one goal in mind, and that was to educate traders. Because if there's one thing I've learned in 46 years, the reason why most traders fail, and it's been estimated that upwards of 80 to 85% of all traders fail, is because they're basically taking themselves out of the game. You're allowing someone or something to make your trading decisions for you. Now, the only traders I know that are still around for my days on the floor that are still trading for over four decades are the ones that make their own trading decisions. So that's why we formalize specialist trading to educate traders. We are first and foremost an educational company so that you could have this information and make your own trading decision. This is how you'll become a consistent trader, not just have one or two good months, maybe one or two good years, but possibly one or two good decades. That's what we want to instill in all of you. And that's why we have students in over 115 countries and in every state in the United States. Now, before I begin, we are required to share this with you. So please take a moment to view our disclaimer. I'm going to share with you a lot of performance results using this particular pullback strategy. But please remember that we can in no way guarantee that any of the results I'm about to share with you will be repeated in the future. And since we are first and foremost 
an educational company. All examples are strictly for educational purposes only. Now, if you'd like some more education on a daily basis, please feel free to follow us on Twitter. Either as you see here, the little bird or X as you like to call it, whatever you, name you want to give it. Uh, I post different information five or six or seven times a day, anywhere from uh, setups that our methods have generated to little bits of financial wisdom. So there's lots of free education on a daily basis. And remember, we are a little bit different. We're uh, first and foremost an educational company. So we never tell students and we never you know, uh, give out uh, what our opinion is and what we think the market's going to do. We never say what the best stock is to buy or what the best stock is to sell. We never tell you what the best time frame is. Remember, our philosophy is those are things you have to discover because everyone comes in with different baggage. Everyone has different, different risk parameters. Everyone has a different way in which they want to trade. Some traders like to trade 20 times a day. When I first started on the floor, that's the way I was trading hundreds of times a day. Other traders like to trade once or twice a month. So everyone's different. So you have to find your own way. The good news is that's what we do. We educate you and teach you and work with you so that you can find what works best for you. So my goal is not to force feed you signals. It's not to tell you what the best market is to trade or what I think of the market is going to do today. My goal is to teach you how to trade with the specialist edge. This is the same edge that has sustained me now for going on 46, going on 47 years starting next year. And hopefully it will be doing the same for you. Now, I think we're going to have a little bit of time left over for questions and answers. So uh, if you have any questions, please wait till the end. I like to take the questions at the end because I have I think upwards of 140 slides to share with you today. So I don't want to stop for every slide. We'll be here far too long. I don't want to take all your trading day. So if you have a question, kindly write it down or remember it. Oftentimes your question is answered in the next two or three slides that follow. But if you still are not uh, familiar or uh, uh, with what we're teaching, please write it down. I promise I'll get to it at the very end, okay? Okay, with that stated, let's begin today's educational presentation. And the method I'm going to be talking about and sharing with you today are, is strategy number one. I'm going to give you the preliminary entry rules. And once again, these are usually reserved just for our students who have purchased strategy one, but I'm going to actually give you the preliminary entry rules so you can actually figure out how to use this for entries. Okay, some of the highlights of this particular method. It's a pullback strategy. So a lot of traders know what a pullback is, but for those of you who aren't familiar, pullbacks methods are designed to buy low in uptrends. You're going to buy at the lower levels in an uptrend, and it's designed to sell at the higher levels in a downtrend. Now, the way it does this is by using a unique indicator. This is a daunting channel application. Now, whatever platform you're using, you should have access to daunting channels. They're a very familiar type of indicator. If you don't, uh, uh, ask them uh, at your tech support if you can supply them with daunting channels. They're very easy to apply. And I, I believe even on the internet, you'll be able to find some free access to the daunting channels. Now, the beauty of strategy one is you can apply it to any market any time frame and any direction. I know a lot of so-called educators like to uh, tell you about a phenomenal method or system they have, but it only works on one time frame and on one market. You know, I don't believe in that. I think if something is valid and it works, it should be able to transfer onto all markets and all time frames and all directions. And that's what strategy number one does. Now, <clears throat> please, you're going to get these first entry rules, but please paper trade first. So many of our students jump in too quickly. They think they understand everything. And they jump in and they say, hey, Steve, this doesn't work. I've got nothing but losses. And then when I review their trades, I it turns out that they're implementing everything incorrectly. So please learn the strategy, the entry rules first by paper trading. Once you feel you understand it, then apply real funds to the market. Our edge with all of our methods, we have upwards of uh, 12 to 13 different trading strategies at uh, specialist trading and pro trader strategies, is consistency. Now, I know a lot of you think that consistency means, oh, that means there's just tons of winners. That's not what consistency means at all. Consistency and is an awareness that you will have losses from time to time. That's okay. It's okay. You can't tell me of one trader that hasn't lost or doesn't lose uh, uh, most of the time. That's all right because a consistent method is one that's able to recoup those losses. You see, you don't want a method that promises the world and has these humongous gains but then gives everything back. That's not a consistent method. That's more of a gambling type mentality. You know, riding high in April, shot down in May. What you want is a nice, steady upward uh, slope to your PL. And that's what consistency is two step forward, one step back. And strategy number one is extremely consistent. I'll show you a couple of examples in just a few minutes. All right. 
So let's talk about the indicators. We're going to use the 21 period daunting channels. Remember, if you don't have them, ask your tech support. They should be able to supply them for you or look online. OK, we're going to set the daunting channels to 21 period. Now, here are the rules. They're going to seem a little worthy for you to go long here. And I'm just going to go over them very quickly because I've learned over the years that visually uh, it's much easier to explain things than verbally. So I'll just go over these really quickly. Rule number one is all three dungeon channels must be headed in an upward direction. So then rule number two states we're going to look to buy when a declining price bars range is entirely below the rising middle dungeon channel. This is our setup bar. Once we de define our setup bar, we're going to buy one tick when price trades one tick above the high of the setup bar. Remember, always paper trade before applying real funds. Now, I know you're probably thoroughly confused right now. You don't have any understanding. It's going to be so simple once I show you these generic examples. All right, let's look at this generic chart. Obviously, we're in some sort of a sloping uptrend, right? Now, the most opportune place to buy, looking back in hindsight, would obviously be right here, right? But how could we have taken advantage of that? It's easy to see that now in hindsight. But what was happening at the moment, how could we have taken advantage of that? Well, the first thing we want to do is apply the dodging channels. These are three channels, and they look like this. This is the 21 period dodging channels, okay? Now, what you want to see is that all three slopes are headed in the same upward direction. Now, here's the deal. These things aren't in sync. They just don't have to be in sync. They just have to be going in the same direction. For example, you'll see that the bottom slope is coming from a lower setting, and then it goes sideways for a number of bars. And while it's doing that, the middle one is going up, kind of like a stair step, up, stair step. So is the top one, but not as much. But they're all coming from a lower post or a lower setting. That's okay. So they don't have to be in sync. They just all have to be rising, okay? Now, as if you have that first rule in place, you'll see that price usually rises along with it. Many times it'll touch the highest or top uh, dodging channel. But then what happens is we'll go into the pullback phase. This is where traders usually get con confused because they say, oh, okay, the, I went to that chat room and the guy says it's topped out. So I got to go short now. I got to get out. Actually, if these rules are in place, this is a buying opportunity because as price starts to decline, you'll see it come lower and lower, closer to the mid dodging channel. It'll intersect the mid dodging channel. But now we have a bar completely below that rising mid channel. This is our setup bar circled in blue here. What we want to do is buy at this green level one tick above, and it has to happen on the next bar. So let's see what happened on the very next bar. Did it trade there? No, it didn't. So we didn't buy. We're not long. But remember, as long as these are still ascending, which they are, the dodging channels, well, now we can lower our setup bar down to this bar, and then we'll lower our entry. So this is the beauty of this. We're lowering our entry. We'll get a better price as long as the rules are in place. So now we're going to buy this setting of the green bar, all right? And if we buy there, which we did on the next bar, that's our entry. Now in the course, we teach you all our stop placements. We teach you different ways to exit. But then we'll look what happened after that. The stock went up and you bought in right towards the low. So that's how simple this process is. We're not looking at any news. We're not concerned with earnings. We're not concerned with uh, interest rates. We're not concerned with what's going on economically. I stopped looking at those things 46 years ago. And if I'm still here, I'm living proof that you don't really need them in order to be a consistent trader. Now, if you want to, that's fine. As an educator, it's not my job to tell you what not to do. I'm only here to point out what works in terms of consistency. Now, you can also use this to go short. These are the selling rules. I'm not going to go over them because they're the exact same thing, just turned upside down. But if we look at this generic example here, obviously, we're in a downtrend, right? And if we look back in hindsight, this would have been the most opportune place to get short. But it's easy to say in hindsight, but how could that have happened in real time? The first thing we do is apply the 21 period dodging channels. And we make sure that they're all going in the same downward direction. As you can see, they're going down at different times, but they're still coming from a higher setting. So that means they're going lower. OK, so as price heads down, many times it will touch now that bottom dodging channel, but then it starts to balance. It starts to rally. This is where everyone once again uh, gets confused. This is why 85% of most traders lose money because they're out of sync with what the market wants to do. The market is giving you a selling opportunity, but most traders think, hey, we've bottomed out. It's time to go long. Uh, that guy on TV says you got to buy this stock. 
right? Remember, this is why creators fail because they take their advice from an outside source. Our job as an educator is to teach you so that you can make your own trading decisions. So price is heading higher. It's intersecting the midline and the line is still going lower. And what do we have here? We have a price bar that is completely above the declining dodging channels. So this is our setup bar. We're going to go short if it trades one tick below. All right. If this were a, a currency pair, it'd be one pip below. All right. And look what happens on the very next bar. It does. So we go enter to go short. We tell you in our course where to place your stop, different exit points, different stop placements, if you'd like. And you potentially could have made a lot of money on this short. This is how simple this process is. If there's one thing I've learned in four decades, it's that trading is really simple. It's the trader who makes it more complicated than it has to be. You see, trading, successful and consistent trading is not about adding more things to your trading plan. It's actually the opposite. It's about taking things away from your trading plan and keeping it as simple as possible with a few simple but consistent rules. This is what has uh, uh, you know, uh, sustained me now for over four decades. And this is why we teach all these to all of our members. And this is just one of our numerous dozens of strategies we teach. We have the continuation strategies. We have uh, sideways type of methods. We have uh, uh, trend following tools. We have pullback methods. This is just one that I'm sharing with you today. Okay, so let me share with you now, now that you know the entry rules, let me share with you some current examples that happened recently. These are strategy number one examples. And on top of that, let me share with you how simple it is to apply strategy one on our platform. This is the trading platform I developed with ProTrader Strategies that actually teaches you how to identify these pullbacks. Okay, so we're looking at CTSH here, okay, Cognizant Technology Solutions. Someone looking at this would say, wow, well, Steve, we're kind of going up and then we're kind of going down. So it kind of looks like we're in a downtrend, right? That guy on TV says we're in a downtrend, so I don't want to buy this. Well, are we really? So let's see what the first thing we would do is. On our platform, we go up to all our strategies and techniques here. Go up to strategy number one, click it on, and in the drop-down menu, click on the indicator. This is the daunting channels. It's already pre-formatted. There's nothing you need to do. Just click on indicator. And are we... In a downtrend, well, according to the uh, Donchin channels, no, because all three of these Donchin channels are headed in the same upward direction. Remember, they don't have to be in sync, whereas these are going higher, the bottom one is going sideways, but that's okay. As long as it came from a lower setting, it is uh, increasing in value and going higher. Okay, so as price rallies, and, and starts to go up, it usually touches that highest Bollinger Band, but then starts to sell off. This is where everyone once again gets confused and says, okay, well, we should sell this because now it's going lower, probably going to make new lows. It's a bad downtrend. Actually, this is a buying opportunity. We're looking for price to go completely below the rising mid-channel, which it does right here. This is our setup bar. We're going to buy right here, one tick above. This was coming into July, but it didn't trade there on the next bar. But as long as the bars, I mean, the condition channels are still in an upward mode, well, then we can move the setup bar down and we'll buy at an even better price. So we lower our entry point down here. And on the next bar, we trade there. So that's our buy setup. That's our buy signal. And the stock went up eight points in the following days. I know it's not a lot, but remember, the stock gained, uh, the price of the stock gained 12 or 13% in just a few weeks. That's not a bad little percentage gain for the the price of the stock. Let's look at AMD, all right? Nothing really happening here coming in the beginning of last month, right? Most traders would say, hey, Steve, we're in a range market. We go up to the range, down, back up, back down. Kind of should stay away from this, right? This is the way we're taught. Well, let's see what the Donchin channel say. Click on strategy number one on our platform. Click on indicator. And here's a mixed message. Originally, we had these all going down because of scaling, we couldn't show you this, but it was coming from a higher setting. So they were all in sync going lower, but then look what happened. This one and then this one started to go higher as this one was going lower. So they're out of sync. So that means there's no setup that can take place here. Remember, they all have to be in sync. So the top dungeon is headed lower, but at this point right here, we went down on the lower dungeon and down on the middle. So now they're all three in sync. So now since they're all going down, we can look for a selling opportunity. So price starts to rally. It touches the midline right here, intersects. 
And now we have a bar completely above the declining midline. That's our setup bar. And this is where we can go short, right where that red line is. The very next bar opened a little below. We would have sell, sold or show, sold short and 15 points in AMD coming into the end of August. That's how simple it is. Very simple, very easy. Let's look at KLIC, okay? Obviously, made a new high here, but now it's going much lower. Probably should stay away, right? Got to fill this gap. But if we apply the dodging channels, we see that all three are headed in a higher direction. So this is a buying opportunity. It's not a selling opportunity. Now we have our first bar here that closes entirely below. That's our setup bar. And the next bar, it traded there. Doesn't have to close there, just has to trade there. So that was our buy setup. 35 points coming into this month, September. How about the next example here? Moderna, MRNA. This was in July, a couple of months ago. Someone would say, well, Steve, how can you make uh, a fair decision just looking off of six bars? This is not enough information. I need to know about the earnings. I need to know about what's going on economically. Well, remember, if you want to, you can. But this is more than enough information because once you apply the dodging channels, you see they're all headed in the same downward direction. Once again, this was coming from a downward slope. So all three are in sync. Price starts to rally. We have our first setup bar here, our second. And on this third bar here, we go short. Remember, this is all based just on six bars, but that's all the information we need. We sell right here. And you could have potentially made 30 points coming into mid-August, just a month ago. Let's look at PDD, all right? All three dodging channels are headed higher. Now price starts to decline. It gets close to the midline, but now we are below it. Here's our first setup, our second, our third. Nothing has happened yet until the fourth setup where we traded above. So we entered to buy right here on the mid-August about a month ago. And guess what? If we're using one of our standard stop placements, we would have gotten stopped out. If you're using just a very basic stop placement below this low, you would have got stopped out most likely taking a six-point loss, depending on how many shares you bought. It's not a major loss, but this is what we mean by consistency. There is an awareness that not every setup is going to work. If anyone ever promises you any chat room, any webinar you attend that they've never had a losing trade, you should run because I've been trading for 46 years. Some of the best traders I've known, my mentors, lost. That's okay because they're confident enough to know that they can make it back, oftentimes on the very next setup. Okay, so we got stopped out on this setup. Okay, we lost six points. But guess what? Look, look at the Donchians. They're still all headed in an upward slope, all three of them. And we're still below the middle uprising slope, uprising Donchian channel. So now, even though we got stopped out, we can continue to use this entry. So this is a new setup bar. We can get back in if you want to. Remember, it's your decision, but that's our entry. And you would have entered on the very next bar. I know a lot of traders don't like to do this. Remember, it's your choice. We're not a systematic company where everyone has to follow the same exact entry rules every time. If you decided not to take this, that's okay. But just to show you how consistent this is, if you had taken this setup, even after being stopped out and losing six points, you could have made it back potentially, made 26 points or less, maybe even a little bit more coming into September. OK, so this is what we mean by consistency. Don't ever be afraid to lose. Be afraid that you have a method that continues to lose. We've all been there before where that you keep going into a series of losses, more losses, more losses. That's not a consistent method. All right, let's look at a one hour chart of uh, Jones Lang LaSalle. OK, we're going straight down here on all of the uh, uh, Donchin channels. So we start to bounce and rally. This is not a rally to buy. This is a rally to sell. Now, here are our uh, setup bars, our first bar above, our second, our third. None of them have traded below the previous bar. And here's our last fourth one. Let's see if we trade below this on a one-hour chart. Well, ultimately, we did. So we would have, could have gone short if we're intraday trading. 20 points coming into the 15th of September, just last week, okay? This is on a one-hour chart. How about currency pair traders? Here's a daily chart of the Australian dollar going back to uh, uh, last month or so. We had a really nice rally here. As we start to sell off, a lot of traders would say, time to short the Australian dollar. According to the Donchian channels, it's time to look to go long. Now, even though we had some nice upward movement right here, this Donchian channel was still going lower from a previous upper setting. It wasn't until right here 
that all three were in sync going higher. So at that point, you could start to look for a setup bar, which is right here, okay? All three are going higher. We have our first bar completely below and not touching the midline. So we're gonna enter right here at this green bar, enter to go long, and 250 pips coming into the next week or so, okay? Let's look at a weekly chart now because we can apply this to any market, any time frame. makes no difference. Here's a chart going back a couple of years to make a point here in uh, Peloton, P-T-O-M. Remember when that was the, the uh, gold mine of the uh, pandemic? It just soared like crazy. And then it started to fall out of bed in 2021. But at this point right here, a lot of so-called traders and analysts said, well, this is major, major support. Look at that. We bottomed right here. This is some type of support level. Uh, we had a, re a reversal. You got to go longest now. It's going to go back up to make the new highs. Okay. You know, listening to someone else is at the root of most traders' losses. Remember, our job as an educator is to help you make your own trading decisions based off things that work. What is the market telling you using the translator, the Donjin channels? Well, all Donjin channels at this point were going lower. Right here, they all started to go lower. So this is a selling opportunity. And we have our first bar on a weekly basis above the down moving Donchian channel, the mid channel. So that's our setup bar to go short. So you could have either used this as a, a point to go short the stock if you wanted to buy the puts, some type of spread strategy with a downward bias, or let's say you were long and you could have said, well, I'll use this as an exit. It's okay, either way you wanna apply it. Remember, you're in charge, but look what happened. Coming into this month, Peloton has fallen over 110 points, okay? Now we're not gonna say you would have made 110 points and held out short that entire time, I'm just using this as an example to share with you how strategy one can be applied to any market and any time frame, and how simple it is to apply. Okay, Costco. Once again, looking at this chart, obviously it's been going up, right? In hindsight, we would have loved to buy it right here though. How could we have done that in real time? Well, apply the daunting channels. And they were telling us at this time that all three were going in the upward direction. So as price started to decline, we're looking for a bar that is completely below, not touching the midline, the rising midline. And that's this one right here. Even though it looks like it's touching, it was about a tick or two below. So this was our setup bar. You could have purchased on the opening of the next bar and potentially captured 35 points. Remember, in the course, we teach you different exit levels, different stop placements, even different entry levels as well. How about this chart in IDXX? Once again, Looking back in hindsight, sure, I would have loved to have shorted this coming into this month in September, but how could we have done that? This would have been an opportune place to short it. Well, apply the Dodgians. They're telling you the market is going lower, okay? All of these are headed in a lower direction. As price starts to rally and bounce, most people think this is a bottom. This is actually a selling opportunity. Here is our setup bar right there. You could have gone short right there at the end of August and coming into last week, 50 points you could have potentially captured. Once again, this is what we teach all our students. Trading is simple when you get out of the way. It's the trader who makes things more complicated than it has to be. All right, so let's look at Algen, all right? ALGN. Once again, looks like we're in a downtrend. This is someone would say, hey, Steve, this is a perfect uh, uh, description of a downtrend, uh, lower highs, lower lows, right? Well. Here how, here's how simple it is to apply this on our platform. Click on strategy one in the drop down menu, click on indicator. And what direction are the Donchins moving? They're all headed in the same upward slope. So this is not a downturn, this is a buying opportunity. All right, so we start looking for setup bars here because they're all headed upwards. Price is headed down. Here's our first setup bar. Did we ever trade at that green level? No. So now we just continue to lower our setup bar. As long as these are rising, these are all valid setup bars until right here. This was on the 25th of July. On the ne very next bar, you could have gone long and bought. And look what happened. Obviously, some news was announced, some announcement, some uh, you know type of uh, maybe an earning, something economically. Isn't it funny how strategy one got you in a full day in advance without any knowledge or any care for fundamental news? because price tells you just about everything you need to know. And you could have potentially captured 75 points in just one day. Remember, it's up to you. If you wanna look at news and earnings and things of that nature, that's your prerogative, you can. But I stopped looking at that over four decades ago. I was taught and trained on the floor that I need to know all of those things. 
And guess what? It couldn't make me a dime. You know, I was in charge of making markets in over 50 stocks. I had to know all the earnings estimates. I had to know all about the CEOs and what the company direction was. And guess what? None of that worked. It didn't help me make any money. It wasn't until I stopped looking at that that I started to become consistent. So it's up to you. You can still use that if you want, but none of our methods require anything of fundamental news. Okay, so let's recap what we taught you today. Remember, strategy number one is our very consistent pullback strategy. You can apply to stocks, futures, forex, cryptos, whatever you want, any time frame and any direction. The way you find these entry points is by applying the 21 period Donchian channels. If you don't have them on your current platform, what you should do is either contact your tech support to see if they can supply them for you or uh, look online. There's a lot of free versions online that you can use. Please, now that you know the entry rules, just don't jump in and start trading them in the next half hour. Please uh, paper trade first so that you fully understand the process. Our edge is consistency. As I explained earlier, consistency doesn't mean that every trade is a winner. Consistency doesn't mean that you have tons of winning trades. Consistency is an awareness that you will have losses. But that's okay because a consistent method is one that's able to recoup those losses. Whatever method, whatever market, whatever time frame you trade, you should be looking for a consistent method, not a uh, get rich quick scheme where it promises the world because it's been my experience that most of those give it all back eventually. So ask yourself, do you think this strategy could have helped your trading this past year? Would you like to finish out the year strong using this strategy? Well, we have a great attendee discount for all of you and all the members at CTU attending today. We're going to offer you our most consistent pullback strategy. This is our strategy number one course. You're going to get instant course access, detailed video instruction. You're going to learn all the different entries, all the different exits, and all the different stop placement points. You'll get our educational signal alerts and complete strategy rules. Now, we're going to throw in an extra bonus as well. Remember how we shared with you how everything you saw today was displayed coming from the PTS Primo charting platform. We're also going to throw in a full full month trial absolutely free. So you'll be able to, with one click access, click on the Donjin channels already pre-formatted for you, and it will display these buy and sell areas so that you'll know exactly where to enter. This is all free and yours for one month if you decide to become a student. Now, with all that you get on the PTS Primo chart, you're not only get trading strategy number one, you're gonna also gonna learn two entry techniques. You'll also get our enhanced buy sell line that tells you instantly on the platform by uh, a unique color bar tool, tells you whether the overall trend is up or down. You also get auto generated exit levels using one of our exit uh, techniques. It'll show automatically on the screen where these exit levels are. Personalized tech support along with over 90 of the most prominent technical indicators. But here's what I feel along with uh, numerous other things that I, I can't go into right now because there are just too many things on our platform. There, You won't find them anywhere else other than on the PTS Primo charts because most of these are taken from my experience on the floor and they're not on any other of the major platforms. You're going to get all of these free for a full month. Now, I would think probably the best thing are our strategy signal scanner because you'll be able to scan using the PTS Primo charts for these signals, these strategy number one signals. You'll be able to scan going through any market, any time frame. For example, you could have scanned for this. This was just last week using a five minute chart of the spiders. All right. You could have scanned and seen that the daunting channels were headed lower on a five minute time frame. As price started to head up higher, it intersected this and look what happened. There's our setup bar that you could have scanned for and seen. On the very next five minute bar, you could have gone short the spiders and potentially made nearly five points in one hour. This was just last week. If you were intraday trading a five minute chart of the spiders, this was when the market really just started to fall out of bed last week. OK, it's extremely simple and you're going to get that. Now, normally the price for strategy number one that we've stole, sold to all of our students around the world is six ninety five, close to seven hundred dollars. But for our association with CTU Cyber Trading and all the people attending today, we're going to discount that tremendously. You don't have to pay $6.95. You're only going to have to pay, spend $37. Think of that, $37. But this is for a limited time only. And remember, that includes a free monthly trial of our platform. Or you'll get the add-ons for your platform if you'd like. But this is a fantastic deal for only $37. This is just for a very limited time. And then it'll go back to that nearly $700 price. 
So if you'd like all the complete rules for entries, exits, stops, if you'd like to use the PTS Primo charting platform and get these automatic signals already there, auto-generated exit levels, scanning capability, this is a great deal for only $37, okay? Here's how to take advantage of this. Contact my sister site, Pro Trader Strategies. They uh, developed the platform with me. They're in charge of all the pricing and all the discounts. I would recommend giving them a call. Right now, they have trading consultants manning the phones at area code 310-598-6677. They would be more than happy uh, to answer any question or take your uh, uh, order over the phone. And they're there to work with you. If you have questions about anything about the platform, they can answer the questions there as well, okay? That link you see at the very bottom is not a live link. I think, uh, I'm not sure if Josh is gonna post that on there, but that's a link that will take you to the uh, info and sign up page if you'd like to sign up online. But remember, this is a limited time offer. So I believe this is only gonna be good for the next couple of days or maybe possibly to the weekend uh, at most. So I would take advantage of that. And remember, this is not something we're offering for two or $3,000. This is only $37. Probably can't even go have breakfast for two for less than $50 these days. But for $37, you're going to get a strategy that I've been using for over four decades. So this is a great, great offer, and it's yours to keep. And you'll also have a free 30-day trial of our platform. Okay, so that's a great, great offer. Take advantage of that. Now, we still have some time left. I promised I would answer any questions you have. But you know what? Uh, I'm sorry, Josh or... Uh, Rich, I'm not sure how to take those questions uh, since uh, I'm not used to this platform. So I don't know if you want to read them to me or uh, how that would work. Yeah, so, yeah, so, so for, for any of our students, students here, like, like let's say Rod, Rod or Grant, Lawrence, Lawrence, Charles, et cetera, here right now joining us, certainly yeah, feel more than free to ask Steve any questions you have uh, in, regards uh, in regards to what he's covered so far so here in just his webinar. Thank you. I appreciate it. One Steve, thing I will what, answer, uh, one thing, because this is a very common question I get, and I'll answer it in case someone's asking, is that a lot of people say, well, what if I'm having trouble or if I don't understand something or I have, well, we have a tech support department that's there to really work with you, but also every one of our students, even if you get one of these, uh, you know, very discounted packages, you get my personal email address. You can contact me whenever you'd like. If it's prior to the opening, after the opening on the weekend, makes no difference during the trading day. Uh, a, lot, a lot of times these go to interns or to assistants. That's not the way we do it. All of the emails come directly to me and I answer all the emails. So uh, if you ever have any trouble or something uh, is a little confusing to you, you can always email me whenever you'd like. And yes, quick question. question I got here for you really fast. It would just sure. be more so what are your thoughts going into the end of this calendar year as far as the markets? Uh, you know, there's a couple of folks I follow myself as far as just online and, you know, a couple, a couple contrarian, contrarian thoughts as far as like, like a potential melt up heading into the end of this year or perhaps heading into the very beginning of this year, but then a big bust and, and then bear market. market. But everyone but has their, their own, own opinion. opinion. What are your thoughts are your on that? Well, I would say the best thing is to go. I, I, I talked about our Twitter page because uh, remember, we let our tools and indicators do the talking. We never like to sell, to, you know, say our opinion and to say whether you should sell the market or buy the market because. As educators, our job is not to say those things. It's for you to find out. In fact, we always teach our students, you should never ask anyone what they think of the market because what you're doing is you're basically saying to the markets and to the, the uh, trading uh, uh, community, I don't know what to do. Can you tell me what to do? And that's at the root of all traders' losses when you take yourself out of the game. Now, on our platform, we teach you ways to determine exactly what you think the, plat the market should be doing. I can just tell you one thing. Over a month ago, our indicators and our tools tweeted that the market was in a very dangerous place and that most likely you should either be exiting or you should be raising stops because, and I shared on the Twitter page uh, 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 roughly about a month ago, maybe three weeks ago, that there were some signs showing that were very, very negative. So this is how we teach our students so they can find these things for themselves and determine. Now, right now, it's obvious the market is in a negative place. Where it will go, we have no idea. No one knows where it will go. And once again, I traded through the crash. Uh, you know, and I've traded through three or four different crashes. I've been trading through 2008, 2000, 2001, 1987, and the other minor crashes. I traded through straight up markets, and no one knows how high or how low something will go. Uh, the best thing we can do is just listen to the market. And that's what we teach you because the market tells you just about everything you need to know. And so that's what we teach you. And once you learn how to listen to the market, it tells you what it wants to do. Now, right now, the market is telling us it's in a negative 
uh, downward move. Now that could change tomorrow. It could change today. So that's why we teach you these different things so that you'll be able to decide for yourself. Remember, it's been our experience and our philosophy. The only traders that are consistent are the ones that make their own trading decisions. So that's what we stick by, okay, at uh, Specialist Trading. Hope I didn't scare everyone off. No more questions, huh? <laughs> You had another yeah, question that came in, Steve. Steve. I'm on, I'm on, I guess, I some guess audio, audio glitch here, I guess, in our room, so I, I didn't want to talk too much, but I had one from Andre just asking about the basic or premium service that you have, or is that a monthly fee? Oh, okay. Uh, that's uh, uh, Basically, uh, usually you pay for uh, uh, anywhere from six months to a year. Probably a better question to ask Pro Trader Strategies because uh, the way we've uh, divvied up our two companies, I'm in charge of all the teaching and education and they're in charge of all the pricing and tech support. And they're extremely flexible. I mean, if you'd like to pay monthly, I'm sure they can do that. If you'd like to establish a payment plan or if you'd like to pay for a year or two, three years, it's up to you. But they're extremely flexible. They're willing to work with you, especially if you've been a previous student of ours and are looking to buy another strategy or another uh, technique. Uh, they'd be more than happy to work with you. But I would really suggest giving them a call, 310-598-6677. There's, there's absolutely no opportunity, uh, no opportunity. There's no obligation. There's plenty of opportunities. No obligation. They're, they're, they'll be happy to work with you and uh, answer any question you may have about pricing and about how long you want to be in. But that you'll get that full free month free of the platform, and then you can decide for yourself if you want to stay on board. I think roughly about 90% of people that have taken the 30-day the free platform uh, version sign on for uh, use again, because there's just so many things that are there that can help you trade. And also okay, for $37. So a, couple, a, couple, a couple other a questions that sure. are coming in here. One of our gold students, Danny, was asking, do you have an add-in for Thinkorswim? Yes, they do. Uh, once again, that's more of a uh, tech support pro trader strategies question, but I know, yes, we do. We have a number of Thinkorswim uh, uh, customers and students that use that. And what they'll do is uh, they can, uh, you, they'll set you up with an add-in for that, specifically for Thinkorswim. So yeah, contact Pro Trader Strategies. Once again, they can be able to set that up for you as soon as today, if you'd like. Okay, and then just okay, as far as having a recording, having a recording for this workshop, this we'll workshop, definitely have this on our YouTube, YouTube channel, and then Steve will look, look to have this sent over to you as well, well, just, well just of course, but um, you know, all of our all workshops and webinars, webinars here for Dennis, Dennis, one of our new members, members are all recorded. We'll definitely have this up on our own YouTube channel very, very shortly from now as well. Great, great. That's great. And you can watch it at your own leisure. And once again, if you decide to become a student of mine, don't hesitate to email me any questions you may have. Absolutely. Absolutely. So, folks, hey, okay. any last any questions, questions, definitely let us know. But, Stephen, it was, it was incredible to have you on. Uh, myself, uh, actually, I, I haven't um, had I, I haven't had the chance to listen to you in a little while, probably a couple years maybe myself. You've been on our end probably since that time, but it, it was great to actually touch up a year and learn a lot from you. And, you know, great to have you on, on our side. So, you know, thanks a lot for all of our students joining us as well. Thank you to everyone at CTU. Thanks for inviting me. Hope to see you soon. Absolutely, Steve. Take care. Enjoy the rest of your day. Bye-bye.